is one we think will give you a little lift. Uh, McLean, Texas is a town with a history of working women supporting other women, and Chris Sadegi made the trip out there to tell us how in this Daybreak Rewind. An hour east of Amarillo is a town most travelers skip. Bar Bar Museum, you don't exactly hit the brakes. We have Bar Bar Art. But there is a museum split between barbed wire and the highway that once sustained McLean, Texas. Well, life's kind of been downhill since the closure of old Route 66. Delbert True helped collect everything inside. I stole most of it myself. But one item is most uplifting. But this is the only sign that I know that's left. McLean was once known as the Uplift Town, and the reason why used to be in this very same building. There's good reason for McLean, Texas to boast about itself as the Uplift Town. 10% of the population here works in a bra factory. This 1975 WFA story shows about 100 women producing nearly 5,000 brassiers a day. Some of you may think it's funny that a town gets most of its support from brassiers, but that's nothing really. Some women have been doing it for years. Maury Dial, Channel 8 News, McLean, Texas. You see anybody you know? Nearly everybody. Anita Day works in this building now, just as she did when she was 16. I started in 1957. In a factory that supported women in more ways than one. It was the first time women had really had anything to do. Unless a woman was a school teacher or a nurse, there really wasn't that much to do in this area. But if you drive through McLean, you won't find Uplift Town on any welcome signs these days. That was a reputation some just didn't want to touch. The church has had an issue with, with the Uplift Town. So the name changed to Friendly Town, the factory closed in the late 70s, and then so did Route 66. But if you do stop in today, we have a nice restroom, and we're the best-looking bunch of friendly people you ever saw. So it's a heck of a stop. They'll still give you a lift. In McLean, Texas, I'm Chris Sadegi. <laughs> I can actually verify for the restroom part because my family's from Amarillo. Yeah. So I have been through or a quick stop at McLean hundreds of times. They need to get that on a billboard somewhere. I had no idea. <laughs> well, I'm just curious, have you been to the Barbed Wire Museum? I mean, he said no one stops for it. Are you one of the ones who has? No, next time I'm going to have to. Normally it's just for a quick pit stop. Sorry. <laughs> hey, still to come on.